Hello, sports fans, and welcome to uh, the Scott Sports 101 Monday Night Football Post Game Show. Uh, well, uh, David's uh, Davis's uh, punt return and Elliker's uh, two touchdowns and LA Sec, uh, LA's uh, sack happy defense. They rolled past the Jets 27 to six last night at uh, MetLife Save in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Uh, uh, Darius Davis uh, returned a punt for 87 yards for a touchdown, and Austin uh, Elliger ran for two scores, and Joey Boza and Los Angeles uh, defense settled uh, uh, sti stiffed, uh, stiff lead, excuse me, Zach Wilson and the New York Jets bumbling offense in the Chargers 27-6 victory uh, Monday night. Justin Herbert didn't have to do much in this one, finishing 16 of 30 for just 136 yards, but became the fastest player in NFL history to uh, 1,500 completions as the Chargers go to 4-4 four and four on the season, snap the Jets' three-game winning streak. Keenan Allen had eight catches for 77 yards to reach uh, 10,000 career yards, receiving, uh, receiving Los Angeles Chargers, <laughs> which forced uh, New York to Fall to four and four to fumble four times and recovered three of them. Sacked Wilson eight times, including uh, two and a half, two and a half by Boza and two each by uh, Kahale Mack and uh, Tulai uh, Tua Polito. Polito. Uh, Wilson and the Jets couldn't get anything uh, going despite facing the NFL's worst-ranked passing defense. Wilson was 33 of 49 for 263 yards while taking a step back in his development. Uh, after the Jets went three and out on their <clears throat> opening drive, Davis gave the Chargers a seven to nothing lead when the when the rookie fielded uh, Thomas uh, Morstead's punt near. Uh, the right sideline and avoided a tackle attempt, cut inside and took off, avoiding a few more tackle tries along the way for an 87-yard touchdown return. And uh, it was the longest punt return in NFL this season, and the Chargers' uh, first punt return for a TD since Desmond King brought one back 68 yards against Denver in 2019. In 2019. The Jets moved the ball on their next drive and, and helped uh, in part by roughing the passer penalty, by a roughing the passer penalty, excuse me, uh, Bosa, the first uh, such call in New York's favor since 2021, but Garrett Wilson lost a fumble on the next play and on a hit by uh, uh, Elohi uh, uh, Gilman, which... Uh, and with uh, Derwin James recovering, Los Angeles couldn't take advantage of that uh, takeaway, but uh, did so after both are strip sacked. Uh, Zach Wilson and recovered the fumble on the Jets' next drive. Uh, from the Jets' 21, uh, uh, Elliker slipped two tackle uh, tries. And zipped downfield into the end zone and celebrated a touchdown, but was ruled out at the one. Uh, he got into the end zone again two plays later, but it was uh, uh, it was uh, negated because DJ Reed was called for a defensive offside. Elliker celebrated again, and it, and it counted this time on uh, the next play when he punched it. And to make it a 14-0 uh, lead with 2.45 left in the opening quarter, uh, Greg Zerline's 47-yard field goal cut the Jets' uh, deficit to 14-3 to with 5.57 remaining in the first half. Cameron uh, Dicker's 55-yard uh, yarder at the time, excuse me, expired, uh, made it a two-touchdown lead again for the Chargers heading into halftime. Uh, Dicker's 38-yard 38, uh, 38 uh, uh, 
uh, yarder in the fourth, made it a 20 to six lead on a drive helped by a uh, a circus catch by Allen, who fully extended to reach for a high throw and snagged it with his left hand before uh, uh, curling it with both hands. Uh, and he, as he rolled in into the turf on a 23-yard reception on a third and four, Elliker uh, ran it from two yards out to make it 27 to six. One play after Mack had had a strip sack of Wilson and Gilman returned it 48 yards to set up the ceiling score. Now, Herbert got his uh, 15th uh, career completion in his 57th game, uh, besting the record shared by Patrick Mahomes and Matthew Stafford, who did it in their 62nd games. Herbert got it on his 11th completion on a fourth uh, screen pass to Allen in the third quarter. Uh, Jets quarterback uh, Aaron Rodgers, eight weeks to the day tearing his left Achilles tendon in the season opener, was on the field throwing passes again in warm-ups. And the 39-year-old Rodgers, uh, who has said his goal is to return before the end of the season, dropped back and stepped into a few passes that traveled around uh, 50 yards. Uh, Pro Football Hall of Famer uh, Darrell uh, Ravis received his Hall of Fame ring during the halftime ceremony, a uh, halftime ceremony. The former cornerback and four-time All-Pro uh, played for the Jets from 2007 to 2012 and 2015, 2016, and was inducted into the uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio, in August. Well, up next, the Chargers host the Detroit Lions next Sunday. Well, this coming Sunday. And the Jets head to Las Vegas to take on the Raiders on Sunday night football. Oh, uh, boy, this was just one of those games the Jets just could not get anything done. But I got to give credit to where credit is due, and that's the, uh, the Chargers. J- Justin Herbert. Uh, 16 of 30, uh, carries and attempts, 136 yards. No, he didn't have a touchdown and reception. Uh, I think it's Austin Elliker. Uh, 14 attempts, 47 yards, and two touchdowns. And uh, Keenan Allen. Uh, uh, eight receptions, uh, 77 y- uh, yards. So uh, uh, this was one of those games where I just the Jets couldn't get anything going. But uh, despite a few struggles, the Chargers really just dominated uh, this game. And it was they were able to uh, seal up the victory uh, in the uh, fourth quarter. So uh, I just I got to give credit to where to the uh, Chargers. So uh, excuse me. So, uh, and as I said before, hello, little, little glitch. Uh, yeah, so Kenny and Allen, uh, eight receptions, 77 yards. So I get the game balls to the uh, the uh, Chargers. And and we uh, there is an AFC playoff. The uh, playoff picture is starting to form. And, and I'm pushing for the Browns to get into the playoffs. And... Uh, So we shall see, but we and for week ten, uh, we got a lot of action Thursday night football. Week ten, the uh, Carolina Panthers uh, play the Chicago Bears at Soldier Field. That'll be on Thursday at uh, eight twenty or eight fifteen. Uh, the uh, Indianapolis uh, travels to Foxborough to take on the Patriots. Uh, the Browns travel to Baltimore. They they will be in Baltimore to take on the Ravens, and we gotta get a little revenge on them. Hopefully, we'll beat them. Houston is in Cincinnati to take on the Bengals. San Francisco's in Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. Uh, the New Orleans Saints are in Minnesota to take on the Vikings. The Packers are in Pittsburgh at Ascure uh, uh, Stadium to take on the Steelers. Tennessee's in uh, at Tampa at Raymond James Stadium to take on the Bucks. Atlanta's in Arizona to take on the uh, Cardinals. 
Uh, the uh, Washington is in Seattle to take on the Seahawks. And the Jets on Sunday Night Football are, are in uh, Las Vegas to take on the Raiders. And Monday Night Football, next Monday night, the uh, Denver Broncos are in Buffalo to take on the Bills. And the by the way, can't see a Los Angeles Rams, the Miami Dolphins, and the Philadelphia Eagles. Those four teams are on a bye week this week. So I got to give credit to where credit is due. The Chargers just dominated, and they get the win. They go to 4-4. The Jets fall to 4-4. Well, that's just about going to wrap it up for the Scott Sports 101 uh, Monday Night Football postgame show. I'll be back with the Thursday Night Football uh, pregame show on Thursday. On Thursday, when uh, when uh, Carolina takes on Chicago. But until then, always remember, be a team player each and every day in every way possible. So long, everybody. Three, two, one. I'm done.